dear students welcome to virtual class of municipal corporation of greater mumbai i am shri kumar the class is for 7th standard students subject is mathematics let me begin the class dear students we are entering into a new chapter the name of the chapter is statistics the word statistics may be sometime new for you it is a branch of mathematics which mainly deals with data data of anything comes under statistics you may be wondering what is this data whenever we talk about data nowadays you will remember about the data we get in the form of internet data this is not that data any data like the height of uh, students of uh, class 7 it will be a, a, a number which is telling about the height of the students where you all are all are of different height naturally it will be different number all those collection of information is together named as data how many students are watching this particular video it is another data how many are attending the youtube channel how many are how many have responded to the subscription of it how many are viewing it these all are different types of data which, which we deal in in our everyday life nowadays so this kind of data when we study about it analyze it and understand something out of it conclude something by studying it all these comes under the uh, domain of uh, statistics so statistics is a branch of mathematics which mainly deals about the data which we are collecting from different sources and this topic will continue for the coming years that is in 8th standard 9th standard 10th standard for minimum and further if you study mathematics in higher classes and the most common uh, uh, topic under uh, statistics is about i would say average average is a term which we use in our uh, average marks obtained by you by a student in uh, mathematics that means we will think about the mathematics the marks the student got in the first exam second exam third exam fourth exam if all these exams are out of 50 what is the average mark he got we cannot say the first exam mark we can't say even that of last we have to club together and find out approximately how much he gets so that concept is called average and which is having a mathematical background for example here is a picture given to you where a girl is coming to the school on bicycle every day the working days are monday to friday when she takes 20 minutes on monday took the recording is done 20 minutes on monday and 20 minutes on tuesday but 22 minutes on wednesday and 18 minutes on thursday and it goes on like that friday 18 minutes and saturday she took 20 minutes to reach the school so in that case if 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 i ask you um, what is the uh, average time taken by the girl to reach to the school how much time she takes we can not say it is 18 minutes we can neither say 22 minutes why because these are two different days data so we will club together that means we will sum up the number of minutes taken by her to reach the school we will total that and will divide it with uh, number of days that is here in this case the number of days is 6 and we will get a idea about how much time she takes as an average so that concept is what is to be cleared first in this chapter the concept of average so for that purpose i need to total the minutes given over here for example if i wish to calculate the average in this case what i have to do is i have to sum what what i should sum some of the uh, sum of the number here in this case the number is nothing but the number of minutes taken so i will sum up that and will divide with the number of occurrences how many records are there here in this case it is total days that means i should 
total 20 plus 20 plus 22 plus 18 plus 18 plus 20 and divide the whole with 6 so that I will get an idea about what is approximate or average time taken by this girl, this student to reach to the school. Approximate. It will not be 18, it will not be 20, it will not be 22 most of the time. Sometime it will be one number among, but the average is a clear cut idea about. So when I total this 3 times 20, 36, 96, 90, it becomes 118 divided by 6. If I divide 118 with 6, okay, it is 19 and 4 upon 6, which I can write in 4 upon 6 can be written as 19 and 1 upon 3. That is the time taken, average time taken by the girl to reach the school. This is 2 by 3, not 1 by 3. 4 upon 6 can be written as 2 upon 3. So this much time. Now either 19 minutes nor 20 minutes in between 19 and 2 upon 3 minutes she takes at an average to reach the school. So this way we solve the situation. So you should be very clear about the concept of average. That is a thing I want to make you understand. Let us move ahead. Regarding average, if I would say uh, the average definition in mathematics is something like if you take the average uh, we take an estimate or we find average if you want to find out the average what we actually do is we add together the number of minutes required in this case on each day and divide with the sum by six why would we divide with six we divide with six because there are six days or six inputs or six data there okay then we get an approximate time required every day so this is what i did just i wrote over there this is the idea I used to find out okay let us go ahead. Here is another situation. What is it? The school conducted a survey to find out how far their students live from. Kitne dur se students aate school se. Given below is the distance of the houses of six of the students from the school. Let us find their average distance from the school. So the question is having the distance of the how so the students from the school 950 meter 800 meter 700 meter 1.5 kilometer 1 kilometer 750 meter so here i would like to tell you something what is new in this here we are having unit meter 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 then a kilometer then kilometer again meter so whenever we do such things we should bring all this into same, same unit so bringing 1.5 kilometer into meter means we have to multiply it with a thousand why because one kilometer is equal to one thousand meter so by multiplying with one thousand you will be getting the answer one thousand five hundred meter so here we will write one thousand five hundred meter while writing here will be 1000 meters all these data will be in meters then we are asked to find out average distance means we will apply the formula of average where we have to sum up the distance sum of the distances we have to sum up between home and school we will sum up that and we will divide we have got the information about six students that is the total number of students we will be writing as denominator so in this case it will be 950 plus 800 plus 700 plus 1500 plus 1000 plus 750 divided by we have got information of six students so we have to add up all these things and it happens to be 5700 upon 6 9 7s are 56 
nine six are there nine six nine seven okay when we are having uh, six or fifty four seven is not possible okay then uh, nine and then five and zero very good nine fifty meter is the average we got 950 meter is the average average distance mm, the meaning is that the distance is around 950 meter some are having more some are having less but you may wonder the 950 meter is there in the one case of one student it can happen but there are 800 so average is 950 meter it's an approximation or estimation of the distance of the home from the school so this way we have to solve the situation very simple concept but useful concept a concept of statistics here is a concept about rotucha practice is skipping with a rope all seven days of a week the number of times he jumped she jumped the rope in one minute every day is given below in one minute how many times she jumps using the skipping rope 60 times 62 times 61 times 60 times 59 times 63 and 50. these are numbers because number of times there is no unit for that okay she is a rutucha so what we will do we have to find out the average of this again the concept of average will be applied average is nothing but we will be some of what is this sum of number of jumps upon how many are given one two three four five six seven so we will sum up that here it is total number of days i have to write so i will just simply write 60 plus 62 plus 61 plus 60 plus 59 plus 63 plus 58 upon 7. So while doing this, we have to total this to find out how much it comes. The total of this is equal to 423 we have to divide it with 7 423 divided by 7 6 7 is are 42 3 you will put a 0 here in 30 you will be having 4 7 is are 28 in 20 it will be maximum 2 7 is are 14 in that way it goes again 6 balance so we will write simply here 60 0.42 jumps so yeah you will think that a 60 jump to some as a 0.42 jump be hot again for mathematically speaking it is possible in maths only so while measuring such quantity we may ask to go to rounding it up that will be done according to the question so what exactly we studied is whenever we have to do find average we will sum up sum up the scores in the given data then we will divide it with the total number of scores so here how many occurrences are there otherwise that is a method used sum of all scores in the given data divided by total number of scores will give you the idea about average and average is a concept coming under statistics which deals with the data collection and its study analysis output and further research so you will be trying to find out how to get resolved the questions given in a problems set practice set number 54 yourself why because i always i emphasize on this why because you should know how to get the average and that will happen only if you do it only four questions are given if i solve those questions which questions you will solve is a big question it should not happen you will solve it yourself get the answer yourself 
check the answer yourself and you will enjoy it yourself that's all in this video for the time being there are certain more items uh, more topics related to statistics which is called frequency distribution table and certain sums related to that also coming in the next video and some method of representing the occurrences or data with the help of frequency with the help of tally marks and all such things are coming in the next video before that you please go through this thoroughly and do the practice set 54 it will help you a lot today and tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Now click on the subscription button below to subscribe the channel, then the bell button to get the notifications of the new videos. Thank you.